You ready? You ready? Let's do it. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akashev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven elite as well. A true five to a player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done it. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. McGregor's now dealing with a cheat cut. Big right hand. Oh! He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, no! Man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight-ending intentions. And landing some nasty strikes. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Well, as usual, this outstanding striker has come out aggressively tonight, almost as if he's double parked outside. Dude's trying to get the job done and get it done. Oh, how about the timing and the execution to get the ankle pitch? Takedown defense holds up. The fighters separate. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this one. It's a master class, John. It's a master class. It's mixing up the target, mixing up the... Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. This man is landing brutal trying to pound. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Akasha. And he's back up. Oh, nice jab up top by McGregor. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face on this one. Round two next. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about... You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. They say the straight ones are the ones that get their first, and they got right to the target. up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a triangle expert. He got it set up. He jumped on it so quick, and now he's, he's just going to step to step. Oh, he got out! There it is. Great job recognizing that the triangle is more dangerous than the armbar. Now, he's mounted, but he's not stuck in a very deep submission. Working from the top here. Pretty good ground and pound here by Islam Akasha. Oh, nice connection by him there. And it looks as though that shot actually has cut him open. Yeah, it cut him open right there. Beautiful shot lands, opens up a cut. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Makasha. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attaches a mission or big ground and pop. 
A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. McGregor's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside physician. He is continuing. Oh, nice ankle. Great timing, better execution. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. You don't see it very often, but when it's done, just like Kel Sanders used to do to me all the time, beautiful ankle pick. Makashev's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the oh. He got hurt again. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, big knee! Oh, saved by the bell. That's the end of the round, and thankfully for him, all right, so there's the end of the round as we show this. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Go. round underway. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive oh. So he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off with a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Great upper body movement. To, oh, how about the ankle pick there? Well, the single leg, the double leg's not working. Go deep into the well, and the ankle pick was there for him. There. Boy, you got to keep digging into that toolbox. He has so many different attacks. We saw that right now with that beautiful ankle pick. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. -in. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. <laughs> right there his opponent's compromised dc it's one thing to land a hard shot it's another thing completely to land a perfect shot and that was a perfect shot oh, yeah. Huge oh, yeah. there. so fighter a little bit stunned holding on to him now not doing a ton just looking to recover all right side control now Oh, nice. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks. Oh, McGregor's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Less than two minutes with which to work here. Oh, big shots raining down. Ref will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount. Well, he's on his back now going for the rear naked choke. We'll see if he can get under the chin. And he didn't go out, he got out. Great job defensively by the fighter. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out. He's got him right here. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. 
at four minutes, 16 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Islam Bokachev. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this victory.